Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Star Lord. How are you doing, guys? I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty good day myself, and hopefully it will get better, as will yours. It's it's only early in the week now, but uh, yeah, I hope that all you guys have a very good weekdays. Weekdays have a very good weekday. That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, let it be said that you guys better have a very good weekdays. <laughs> uh, but hey, what is up, everybody? Today's video is just kind of a small video. It shouldn't be over 10 minutes or anything like that. It'll be around about 5 minutes or something. Just kind of talking to you guys about future updates for Pokemon Brick Bonds. I know you guys love these videos where I kind of just talk to you guys about what I would like to see and ask your opinions in the comment section on what you would like to see. So I thought, you know what? Today, I'm not doing much. This is the type of video that I want to do. I kind of want a little ramble or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, guys, before we do get into today's video, I do want to say that I am having a Robux giveaway, uh, which is in December. It's nearly December now, which means that I will soon be doing that. So that means that if you do want to win Robux, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and wait for the video of me announcing that giveaway. It's going to be huge. It's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it as an early Christmas gift. Uh, but not only that, I am actually giving away all of my rarest shiny legend Pokemon in Pokemon Bronze because I just don't want them anymore. So please make sure to turn on notifications and watch out for those videos too. I am currently giving away a shiny Sneasel. If you guys haven't already got that, go back to my channel and look at the shiny Sneasel video. Watch through it and it'll tell you how to actually uh, kind of get into it. How to actually uh, participate in the giveaway for a chance to win that Pokemon. Uh, so anyway. Here we are today in Pokemon Brick Bronze. We're actually on the main menu screen today. And if we just kind of click play, um, you guys will notice that here uh, we have like the continue button and everything. We have the new game mode here. And also we have this little button here called more adventures. Now when we click on more adventures, of course, you guys know what happens. It leads you to the Pokemon Brick Bronze randomizer. The randomizer mode that everybody loves. It's, it's, it, everybody loves it. It's amazing. Everybody loves this game mode. It's crazy. Um... But today, I actually kind of wanted to talk about different game modes that they're probably going to be adding into Pokemon Brick Bronze in the future. So if I just go back, you will notice that it doesn't say uh, randomizer mode. It just says more adventures. Now, I don't know. This kind of got me curious the other day as to like what kind of more, what, what other game modes would actually be in the more adventures tab. And um, the one that stands out to me the most that I really want to talk about today, let me just start up the randomizer. There you go. Hello there, guys. I'm Star Lord. How do you do? Um, but basically, the first one that I really thought that would stand out very much in Pokemon Brick Bronze would actually be a Nuzlocke mode. Now, I don't know whether this is actually possible or not. I know a lot of people like doing Nuzlocke's anyway, and that you can do it on your own without a game mode. You can, you know, follow the rules correctly and everything like that. Um, but I was thinking, you know what, it'd be very cool if they actually did, like, a game mode for that, where, you know, the rules were already implemented, so that if your Pokemon faints, it's automatically, like, withdrawn from your party, and you can't pick it again, or something like that, you know, because that's what Nuzlocke is. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Nuzlocke is, a Nuzlocke is basically, like, a set of rules that you have to go by when you're trying to play Pokemon Brick Bronze, or any Pokemon game, for that matter. Uh, basically, you're only allowed to catch, like, one Pokemon per route, uh, you're not allowed like certain things it's kind of crazy it's really really intense to be honest guys it's insanely intense and um, but nevertheless it's very very cool and i would really like to see this in pokemon brick bronze in the future i don't know i just think it'd be pretty cool uh, to be honest in my opinion um oh we got a low pony we got a low pony i've never got a shiny pokemon on these i swear to god i've never got a shiny pokemon on one of these i swear um okay we're gonna go flavel uh, Growlithe, oh my god, what is, oh, we got a Tapu, this is my first Tapu, ah, we got a, oh, we got a Porygon, what is going on with all these Gem 1s, I'm, I'm like, there's so many Gem 1s that I'm like coming across right now, like Gyarados, I got Clefable, uh, let's see, we got Cloyster, we got Growlithe, and then we also have, uh, wait there, we, and then we also have Porygon and Kabutops, Kabutops? Yeah, that's his name, right? Kabutops. Yeah, right. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go for the Tapu. I'm actually... Tapu Bulu? Tapu Bulu? Okay, so we got a Tapu Bulu. Anyway, that's pretty cool. I've never had one of these before. Let me go and check out the IVs and stuff like that, actually. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, 
But anyway, the whole reason of this video was actually to get you guys to comment down below on what kind of game modes that you would like to see in Pokemon Brick Bronze added in the future. Personally, I would love to see the Nuzlocke mode. Uh, I think that would be really cool. But not only that, I would love to see other things such as like maybe a speedrun mode or something like that where it's like a speedrun. I don't know where it has like a timer and you have to kind of like, you know, do everything and I, I don't know. I just think it'd be pretty cool. Wait there, 31, 30, 31, 31, 27. That's not bad. Those IVs are not bad. What's the nature? Bashful? Okay, so that's not bad either. It doesn't really get rid of anything and it doesn't give anything. Huh. It's such a weird Pokemon, this Tapu Bulu. Or, uh, what, what is it? Um, yeah, it is. Is it? Are these Pokemons? Are the Guardians Pokemons? I'm pretty sure they are. They just look weird, right? I don't know. They look so weird. I don't know. I, I, I've played Pokemon Sun and Moon before. I think I've played Pokemon Moon. I think it is. Um, but yeah, it, it, it kind of confused me, to be honest. Like, I loved it, but it kind of really confused me about where... where oh, he got an unknown! We're going to kick his butt, guys. Um, but I would really love to see you guys commenting down below where what, like, Pokemon game modes do you think that they could put into Pokemon Brick Bronze? I don't know. Personally, I don't know many Pokemon game modes, but I do know normal game modes. So, for example, speedrun. Um, maybe even, like, a... Oh, okay, so speedrun... A Nuzlocke mode? What else could they add? I don't know. I kind of just wanted to get my opinion across on, like, I would love to see that. And if they did add that, I would definitely do a little gameplay series in it or something like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. I know for a fact I would probably glitch it and ruin it if it was a speedrun mode. But, that, of course, like, glitches are allowed in speedrun modes. They can't, like, wipe your score. Uh, for example, the people who have completed, like, Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon, uh, and Pokemon Mario? And Mario, um, have, like, only four minutes on the clock and stuff like that. So, it's, like, it's absolutely crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So, Pokemon glitches are allowed. So, you know, I would most likely be one of the fastest people in the world at doing this. And they, they could also do, like, a leaderboard, too. They could do, like, a leaderboard or something like that. And maybe they could even make a game mode where it's just the Battle Coliseum and that you could pick your own Pokemon. Like, you don't have to go around and, like, catch them or anything. You can pick your Pokemon. B basically, like, Pokemon's Coliseum. No, not Pokemon Coliseum. It's called something else. Pokemon Showdown! Maybe if they made a game mode like Pokemon Showdown! Guys, that would be so sick. Like, we are giving these guys ideas right now. And I know that they are working on Route... Uh, uh, sorry, on uh, the 8th gym now, uh, which is very cool, by the way. And there will be more information coming up in the next week or two about the 8th gym. So, please... Please make sure to keep an eye out on that guys as I will have full coverage on the videos but come on you guys are gonna agree with me right now a Pokemon showdown mode how cool would that be a Pokemon showdown is basically like you basically just have battles that's it it's no like walking around or anything you go into the battle coliseum you're able to actually pick from the all of the pokemon that are available in the pokemon universe you're able to pick its stats whether it's a shiny pokemon and um, what moves it has and stuff like that it's it's really cool it's really simple to do also actually because they've already got the battle coliseum like all they would have to do is implement a system that like added in every Pokemon where you can choose like the stats and everything. I don't know. I think that would be personally pretty cool. So like if you guys agree with me, please feel free to comment down below like that's a sick idea or something like that. I don't know. Something cool. What is this Pokemon? What? What is this Pokemon guys? I've never came across this Pokemon at all in my life. What is it? A Lilligant? This must be the new gen, right? I don't know. Also, that's a kind of uh, interesting fact, too. Like, when do you think they're going to add in the new, new Pokemon from Pokemon Sun and Moon into this game? Like, you know, like, uh, ne 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 Necrozima? I, I can't pronounce its name, but, like, the Salego version of it, you know? Like, when do you think they're going to add all that kind of stuff in? That would be pretty cool, I think. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about all of this and uh, see your opinions on everything. So please, guys, remember to comment down below with everything I've asked in the video. Like, you know, what game modes would you like to see? Uh, when do you think they're going to add in the new Pokemons and stuff from Pokemon's Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? And um, also, like, would you like to see, like, a uh, Pokemon Showdown type of game mode in Pokemon Brick Bronze? Where you just kind of click more adventures, you get straight into the Battle Coliseum, and then you're able to, like, battle and everything. I don't know. I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know. Um, I would really like it anyway. It would definitely get more people playing the game. So yeah, and that's kind of what Pokemon Brick Bronze needs right now. I don't know. More, more, more people playing. Or more updates. We need more updates. Oh, this dude has a Poplio. What the heck? Oh my god. Dude, it's so cool playing the randomizer. Like, it's just so cool to play it. It's always something different. That's what I like about it. It's always something different on this randomizer mode. 
Let's see. Yeah, there, you, there, none of those Pokemon were both Pokemon. You're crazy, man. Okay, let's uh, let, let me have one more encounter uh, in the grass right here and uh, see what we get. And then I'll probably end. Oh my god, we got my father. Of course, if you guys don't already know, my last name is Lord. My mother was a Starmie, so I am Starmie Lord or Star Lord, you know. <laughs> we got a Whale Lord in the grass and it's a level 3. That's awesome. That is absolutely pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please remember to leave a like. And also, have a great, fantastic day. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So, have an awesome day, like I just said. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya!